Well, you two both in there did Millie take off? Ah, 6 a.m. Sun's coming up. channel back out on the deck i took a couple days off well needed couple days off and uh we're going to focus on this wall today and if you watch the video you know that that was just temporary i had a storm coming i figured i'd throw that up here and see how it did because i was getting water down in there you'll see later uh so what i'm going to do is take it back off and, and I'm going to cut it into sections. We're going ver uh, vertical, where those lines will be vertical. And I've got some special cuts i got to make on it. But for the most part, it ought to go pretty easy. Uh, and I think what I decided to do here is I'm going to wall this off. That's going to have metal. And I'm going to build a bench right there. Because I've got all the little pieces that I've cut that when I cut the deck boards. I saved all those, so I'm going to build a little bench out of it. Maybe another one over here. Uh, I still haven't got under there. It's coming. We'll get it. I picked up some more flashing. We're going to focus on this wall right now, but I've got plans for that as well. So today, if we don't get anything else done, we're going to get this wall, get this, get this metal put up on here, and get this closed in. I will have a door on the outside there where I can still access inside there, put shovels, I mean, things like that. That's all it's ever going to be good for in there. Uh, but we're going to get going. I ain't got time to sit there and talk with you. Go. Alright, let's get this thing off here. I should be able to do all my work up here. That's the plan, anyway. And, of course, I'll have to reuse the same holes. I tried not to put that many in here. Quit snickering. When I hear the train, that song just comes up. Even though we don't got no trains out here for miles. The time keeps rolling on. All right, let me get this thing off, guys. All right, we're going to start on this end, work our way this way. Uh, that's the one that's going to have to have a notch on it. Uh, no big deal. Shouldn't have to cut too much off of it. And we're going to work our way towards this wall. And that's going to be uh, a little different there. I'll probably frame that out before I put the tin up so it has something to screw to. There's a lot more prep work than, than it looks uh, before I get to putting the rails up. And I've already come up with my design and it's not going to be hard to build but it's going to look good it's going to be a little different but it's been done so like i said i can work up here i need to cut this get this measurement get this cut get it on let's get the first piece on because it is a warming up that dude's right above me and it's humid 
All right, I don't know how the lighting is going to be with this sun above me, guys. But uh, what I should have done when I put this flashing on here is I should have bent it over this way too, because water gets down in there, it goes inside that wall. So I went over the scrap pile, got me a few pieces, and uh, this won't be seen. It'll be covered. So that's going to go like that. <laughs> I'll get it straightened out once I get it in there. Now I just got to find the screws. So what that'll do, and then the tin's going over that. That essentially keeps any water, actually this needs to go underneath this one. Keeps any water from getting down in there. Hopefully I got enough. Took a while to cut all these. Nope, oh, and I need one more. All right. Let me locate my screws. It's been a morning of that. Where's my tape measure? Where's my level? Where's all this? All right, I got my flashing installed all the way across. It ain't beautiful, but it'll serve its purpose. You ain't going to see it. And if you're wondering about water getting, you know, hitting the top, this is going to have a probably a 2 by 10 uh, top on it. So, and that will be caulked underneath. Nothing's going to get in here. I just kind of took the hammer and beat it, kind of molded it to the wall. Now we're ready to start cutting this tin. Boy, is it heating up. Whoo, that old hot hat I had to come off, but that dude's right above me. And it, that's the bad thing about this deck. The sun, it's in the sun most of the day whew, till later in the evening. But, uh, whew, I wish I had some sunglasses. I don't. All right, let me get back to work. Ooh, I don't know how long I'm gonna make it out of here today. I've got to be super careful because I don't have a railing up there. All right, I'll cut the first piece. bit of an angle works better. Figured that out when I was doing the fire. I can't reach over here. I gotta move up. Quarter of my name. a notch and I forgot what I measured so we'll do this together I'm going from the edge of this T111 because I'm gonna put a strip of uh, piece of trim on there and match the other side you get out of my way ah. Twenty and a quarter. Twenty and a quarter. How far down, man? That's thirty-eight and three quarter. Okay. All right, first piece is up, and man, did I screw up. Cut it too short down there. And, uh, but that's all right, because you see, I don't have that piece of trim on for that part of the building yet, so that'll be, I'll just cut that on the, uh, get a, one, a two by six and cut it on the table saw, make it fit. But, uh, I don't know why that's higher there. You know, get the level and make sure this thing's level. But anyway, that's the idea. I wish I would have washed it first. This thing's all dirty. But a couple of rains will be good to go. Let's just get a quick 
quick level on it. Close enough. And it's going to be all squared in. Like I said, there's going to be a board on the bottom as well going across with caulk. We'll see. See where we get. And I'm just winging it as I go, guys. That's... All right, this is going to be pretty weatherproof when it's done. No problem. Plus, you got flashing down there. And that comes out of ways and then drips down onto the roof, which also has flashing on that part of the wall. And I've not had any troubles with this part of the wall, so I'm not worried about it. Ooh, that'd be a little fall, wouldn't it? Yeah. So we just imagine that black piece of trim there. It'll look good. I'm going to make this whole thing look good. All right, let's get the next piece on. These pieces ought to go easy. I cut it short. So, I mean, I don't have enough of this to do it over. I don't know what I did. <laughs> Who knows? Oh, I know what I did now. I know what I did. I measured the distance from there to there. And that's... I cut that hole out that. So instead of... Ah, we'll make it work. And I could not find any green screws. So I have to take a sharpie. All I got is black. Ain't them black. Do they even make a green sharpie? And if they did, who would want to buy one? I wouldn't want to buy no green. Green sharpie? No. I don't want to green nothing. Alright, got the second piece cut. Where is the bit? Why do I got so many pockets, man? Why? There it is. Alright. Trying to use the holes. Well, I ain't trying. I am using the holes that were already in it. Right, so we got one there. Right, it's easy. Not exactly. Why is there two holes there? Don't want to go too tight with it. So these monkeys in the kennel over here are playing sounding like chimpanzees then it gets the puppies across the road going I mean. many because it'll be wavy. Nice thing about having a T-111 behind it. I ain't got to worry if I'm hitting a stud or not. It is getting hot. Whew. Just like last year. Alright. And I ain't going to have enough. I think I got another couple pieces over there. but I thought that one piece would get most of it. But it ain't. Right, let me cut this one.
All right, let me see what I need for this piece over here. Uh, how much are these? 36. All right, so one more piece will finish it. I, I believe I got one that's. Okay, 35 by 36. All right, I think that's. Uh, let me swing y'all over here. I think that's going to look good when it's done. Like I said, it's going to have a top over this. You know, so maybe a bar stool or two. You can sit up here, have your janks or whatever you do. That will cover all this. I'll glue it down and glue it and screw it. And then I think we're just fine down there at the bottom. Although, if I'm trimming it in, I don't know. We'll see. It's kind of hard to run any trim on that. Unless you were to notch. I don't want to do all that. But that's fine, man. It's a patio, you know. It ain't got to be perfect. As long as it don't get wet inside. That's all I care about. I can see some spots on the roof. I got to go tighten down a little bit. But it is way too hot to get up on this roof. It's getting hot handling this stuff. So, and I got to keep taking the GoPros in because they're overheating. So I'm going to go down there in the pile. There you guys go, looking down again. I just can't teach you. You guys are just unteachable. Unteachable. <sighs> what was I saying? Well, yeah, go down there and get me the last piece. And I got to figure out what I want to do there. I know I need a hammer. I know I need some 2 by 4s Got to frame that part in and get that ugly part covered up. All right, let's go figure it out. I'll go figure it out. You guys just sit there. It'll only be a few seconds for you. today. I think I hear four of them. Three. Nope, just three. Well, maybe four. I don't know. All right, guys, I had to stop working a couple hours ago. It just 88 degrees right with the sun above me. It was hot. But I'll show you where we're at. We got those pieces on. And what I made is a little frame. It's going to go. Yeah, something like that. And what I'm going to do is cut a piece to fit here. A small piece here. And a piece there. And then I'm going to have a bench right here. Uh, that should be very, very simple to build. We've got a lot of leftover deck pieces I'll build it out of. Uh, but building it this way, it keeps my tin the same height, but it shows this transition, you know, it's just cut off right there. So you won't know that that doesn't go all the way down. It's gonna be a better looking transition than if it, you know, I had a piece down there. That would not have worked. So we'll get back on this tomorrow and uh, I was hoping that <laughs> it just now got cloudy, but man, it just, you know, I got to be careful working out in this heat. I ran into the same thing last year with this deck and this build, but I got I to gotta pound away at this and get it done before it gets way too hot. And I mean, 88 degrees under the sun with the high humidity, it was not fun. I said to heck with it. So, look at these guys. They know where to be. Well, I hear something tracing through there. It's them birds. A lot of birds. And then we got them, them goofballs out there. Now, I don't feel bad out here, but man, as soon as you start working, you it's crazy. I went in and took a nap. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll get back on this tomorrow happy trails all right i just want to come down here and show you 
that it going vertical like that is going to look so much better. And like I said, that piece on the end is going to have the matching trim uh, that it has down here. And that still needs to get some paint. I can see I didn't get under the bottom of that. And that tan needs touched up. So we got a ways to go, but we're getting closer with each one. Let's get a closer look at these two. Look at that one. This is just like the finest area ever. You can see that's where I was taking my breaks. Yeah, you was out running, wasn't you, last night? You're in a stupor. Look at your ear. You're just too tired to even put your ear up in a radar ear. I don't know what to do with you. And these guys.